Metal Monthly End of the World Edition. The world is over, but there's still new metal, because metal is apocalypse music. Hey, uh, Blind Smith reporting to you uh, after the fall of the world for Metal Monthly uh, April. So, despite it being the end of the world, we're still bringing you Metal Monthly, Banger's monthly look at what's going on in metal releases. I'm gonna, uh, give, give me a sec. So before we get into it, uh, let's address a couple of things that are happening. Uh, there's a global pandemic. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, boy. Um, so what's going on at Banger? Well, we're still able to bring you Metal Monthly because uh, it's the easiest show possible to shoot. Um, and uh, I'm here. Uh, but it's a, it's a very barren and empty banger office, so uh, we still, we have a deep well of content we can draw from. So there's still going to be two videos a week uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, it's just, if you're wondering where's that fresh new review for that album that just released, um, it, we didn't film it because there's a quarantine. You know, we might uh, try something depending on how this lasts. You know, some reviews from home, some even bootleggier bootlegs or something. But, you know, stay tuned. We still got content coming for you. And, uh, you know, uh, it would be a rude time to ask for money. So right now, all I want to do is thanks to all the Patreon supporters that are still supporting us through all this. It really means a lot. And a lot of people have reached out to ask how they can support individual Banger members through this. Uh, you guys are amazing. It's so kind, so nice. Uh, so just, hey, let's all give a big... Uh, round of applause to anyone that's, you know, reaching out to people that make things they like and are trying to take care of them, whether that's a restaurant, a YouTube channel, a store, whatever, you know, support locals, support your, support, support people you like. But in good news, we can ask you to subscribe, and hey, thanks for subscribing, we're uh, at 250,000 subscribers, what a nice big milestone. All it took was a, uh, a global pandemic combining everyone indoors to boost YouTube views. Who would have thought? But that's a lot of jibber jabber. Let's get down to the content. Up first, as always, I'm gonna run through some bigger releases that you might have heard about or might have forgotten about with all that's going on in the world. So these are some ones to keep an eye out uh, for. Uh, April 3rd, August Burns Red is releasing Guardians on Fearless. And hey, uh, uh, Banger Friend Testament is releasing Titans of Creation on Nuclear Blast. Uh, April 10th, Nightwish is releasing Human 2 Nature on Nuclear Blast. Uh, April 17th is a big week. We've got Aborted is releasing La Grande Masquerade EP on Century Media Records. Abysmal Dawn is releasing Phylogenesis on Season of Mist. Uh, the Black Dahlia Murder is releasing Venomous on Metal Blade. Chemist is releasing Doomed Heavy Metal EP on Nuclear Blast. And uh, Aranzi Pazuzu, you've maybe heard me talk about them before. Uh, they're super cool. They're releasing Mesterin Kindnessy on Nuclear Blast. And hey, another band that I've talked about before on this very show, please support Rip to Shreds, uh, releasing Luan on Pulverized Record. Amazing death metal. I would have included them in here, but. I've had them before and we want to get new records in, new records to talk about. April 24th, Seerth Ungle, one of the originators, is back with Forever Black on Metal Blade. Elder is releasing Omens on Armageddon. Catatonia is releasing City Burials on Peaceville. Trivium is releasing What the Dead Men Say on Roadrunner. Holy crap! There's a good thing we're staying inside, right? Ulcerate is releasing Staring to Death and Be Still on Devamur Morty. Warbringer is releasing Weapons of Tomorrow on Napalm. And another band that I've plugged on here before, talked about in Metal Monthly, that you should definitely, again, would have been in here, but we've already talked about them, and I like to, you know, give a little bump to new bands. Traveler is releasing Termination Shock on Gates of Hell Records. Also get that. If you have any money this month, it it's going to be a big one. Now... On to my personal picks of what I've been listening to in the quarantine. I've been doing a lot of listening, and holy crap, I this was this month is insane. I had such a hard, the hardest time I think I've ever had whittling it down to five records. There was like ten records, just death metal, where I was like, can I just do ten death metal records? No, we got to make it diverse. We got to make it cool. But the thing I am most excited about that I've been listening to nonstop. Black Curse is releasing Endless Wound on Sepulchral Voice Records, April 24th. Let us have a listen. Boom.
So this is a Denver-based supergroup of sorts, uh, making blackened death almost war, but weird and a bit more. So we've got some weird eye-catching album art uh, by Dennis Forquez Costro Minton. You know, nice to have a record that's a little out there. Have a cover that's a little different than what you might normally get. Um, before I talk about the record, well, I guess let's talk about the record. I just want to super praise the masterful sound of this record that was created by Arthur Riz. He's a great, great producer, mixer, recorder, blah, blah, blah. He's done some of your favorite records, and he really nails it on this record. It simultaneously sounds amazing and shitty. He, 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 that perfect, still sounds washed out, that sound you want, but there's separation of instruments, everything sounds awesome. It's just the perfectly recorded record. Um, so, I did say this is a super group. Uh, it's guys from Blood Incantation, Primitive Man, Chemist, Spectral Voice. It's all just, these guys, I don't know how they have all this in them to constantly be spitting this stuff out that all sounds different and unique. Um, this easily stands with any record in any other catalogs. Um, not only does it stand with them, it also stands away from them because like I said, it's not really overlapping or covering the same ground. It's, it's just really got everything in it. It's fast, it's slow, it's structured, it's chaos. Uh, and it's got some wacky out there sounds a little bit too that I don't want to spoil for you. Um, everything that really just kind of sums up the bare essence of black and death metal. It's like they really got to the core of it, put it in there, and if you like either of those genres, I think you'll be a huge fan of what they've done here. Um, I can't say this enough. Um, I'm gonna say it's an album of the year contender, which I know is a really lazy hack thing to say because we say that all the time. But if you've noticed, I think this is the first time I've said that this year. I save it, I save it for potential actual album of the year contenders, not just a lazy way of saying a record's great. So, boy, I am talking fast. Can you tell I've been quarantined in the house with not really anything to do and I'm just excited to be out there doing something? <laughs> so, the next record coming up, we've got Funeral Leech releasing Death Meditation on Carbonized Records April 17th. Let's check that one. So this is some New York based Death Doom, two things I love, and the cover, just really cool. You look at it and you're like, oh, what a pretty cover, and then you get close and you're like, oh, what a gross cover. Uh, good job, Karmazid, you know, a nice blend of the two. Um, so this is that perfect, speaking of blend, middle of the road, not in terms of quality, but in terms of right between Death and Doom, that's really my wheelhouse. Uh, it's got all the intensity, uh, aggression, anger of any death metal out there, but just slow down that dial to deliver a great sense of menace. Kind of just, uh, nothing soft or pretty about this record. If that's the kind of death doom you like, you might want to turn somewhere else. But if you're like me and you love that aggro, dirty death doom, this is another one that you can proudly put in your collection and be like, hell yeah, hell yeah. I love this record. Up next. We've got Aura releasing N Ergo I Ne I God, I don't know why I do this to myself. On Deborah Morty Productions, April 3rd. So I guess that's already out, so you can listen to it in its entirety. But first, have a little listen now to see why you should.
So this is some swish atmospheric black metal. We've got cover art by Michael Hand with the artwork designed by Nature Mock Studios. I'm not sure what that indicates, but I just wanted to acknowledge both of them because this is a great cover. You look at it and you go, yep, I'm getting some atmospheric black metal. It's one of my favorite things about metal is that not only do we have all these compartmentalized subgenres, we have covers that let you know that that's what little subgenre it fits in. It's so great. What other music has that? It's like, it's good. You might remember the record I loved last year by none. Well, if that was the perfect winter atmospheric black metal record, this is the perfect atmospheric black metal record for spring. Uh, it's got a bit more, it's not so cold and desolate. It's got more going on. You kind of feel a little more like, ah, you know? It's still atmospheric black metal, but there's a lot going on on it. There's some cool tempo changes. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a little more, it's a nice out. You want to be doing something, you know, while you're feeling weird. Um, it's still atmospheric black metal though through and through and I find I can tell I have like a it's like a, a sense for atmospheric black metal when I get kind of like a weird fluttery emotional feeling in my chest that's when I know it's good and that's what I got from this uh, and if you want another stamp of quality on there uh, Vinsval of Blue Ross Nord fame uh, does a little intro for the album so if you want an atmospheric black metal stamp of quality that guy intro in your record is probably the best way to do that I would say so if it's good enough for me and it's good enough for him it should be good enough for all of us and we should go buy these records assuming we have money right now everything is chaos. So I know last month this palette cleanser wasn't quite as palette cleansy, so I went with two kind of more heavy metal records for the end of this because hey, sometimes, you know, when everything's shitty, you just need some uplifting records to get you going and feel good and want you to be into the streets, but don't be in the streets, quarantine. Uh, that's how we flatten the curve. Um, so the, we've got Solicitor uh, with some fun umlauts, you know, always good uh, for some speed metal uh, umlauts, uh, releasing Spectral Devastation on Gates of Hell Records, April 24th. Let's go. So this is some Seattle speed, baby, and it's good. Uh, the cover looks as old as the record sounds, and I mean that as a compliment. Um, this is some real swagger and speed, I'll tell you what, you know, just that kind of, uh, that, that crotch forward stuff. I mean, there's a, literally a song called Leather Streets in it. Uh, just, just, just great fun stuff. Catchy guitar riffs all over the thing, some cool, dual hymenized guitar work by Matthew Vogan and Patrick Fry. Um, and the vocals uh, are really great, and they're also mixed really great. They just sound perfect for speed metal. Uh, great job uh, on, the, on the mixing of the record, and great job Amy Lee Carlson for singing. You've got a real ceiling, man. Boy, that's like, ooh, I have to be careful, you know, don't get too excited. But I'm telling you, this is a good record. Uh, and also, my favorite uh, band photo of the month, probably. Check that out. Nice. So I gave you some speed, side heavy metal. This is kind of just straight heavy metal. It's Lady Beast with the Vulture's Amulet on Reaper Metal Productions. Uh, came out on April 3rd as well. So that's another one you can just go listen to now. And here is why you should listen to it. Hit it!
So this is some Pittsburgh heavy metal with some great Sirith Ungle cover vibes going on on the front. Coincidentally, the same month that Sirith Ungle releasing a record, so that marries nicely. Uh, so this is a really just a great mix of some heavy metal tunes, some more like epic fantasy stuff, and even a, a little bit of slower heaviness on Sacrifice of the Unseen. Um, Deborah Levine uh, is a really great vocalist that helps the band morph to whatever kind of variations in the genre they're playing. Her voice has a good uh, ability to sound like whatever, still sound the same, but then sound slightly different to make it sound perfect for that kind of vibe they're going for. Um, there's some really fast, fun guitars all over the whole thing. And not only is there some really fast, fun guitars, there's some really fast, fun guitars through the whole thing. I find a lot of heavy metal records kind of can run out of steam towards the end sometimes, you know? They're playing, you're like, okay, cool, okay, cool. And then the last track is like some throwaway garbage. But the last track on this one, one of the best tracks on the album. Uh, definitely uh, strong from start to finish. Definitely worth checking out. And hey, that's been Metal Monthly for another month. There's so many more records. Uh, for those of you on the Patreon, we're still going to be doing the tip sheet, so I'm going to have five more records for you to listen to. Uh, there's just so many records. Um, thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm still on Twitch, twitch.tv slash metal comedy, more so during the quarantine, because what are you going to do but sit at home and play video games? The World Health Organization has suggested it. So, uh, doctor's orders. So, hey, just a big thanks for helping us hit 250,000 subscribers. Big thanks uh, for, you know, sticking with us through all this. Big thanks. Uh, you know, we'll all make it through this together. And if not, we're metalheads. I'm sure we'll love the apocalypse. I share my love and my knowledge To guide him along his path Show him magic in forests You're avoiding death